everyone and welcome to this eye tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do one of my eye styles which is basically a painted eye with, with many many sparkles and glitter and I hope that you will enjoy it so please keep on watching. First off I always start with preserving the opacity. Just go right here to the preserve opacity layer. So that way you won't draw outside if you decide to draw on the same layer. However, like I showed you in my how to call inside the lines tutorial, you can always do another layer and then click that layer to the layer below. And that way you won't draw outside the lines either. As these two eyes are two different colors, I still decide to color them at the same time, but obviously we're going to use different colors. But this will be a great way for you guys to see how to work with different kind of colors and try to make them mesh together in a whole piece. First off, I just color pick from the base color and then I choose a little darker color that is suiting. I'm going for a more vibrant style in this piece so I try to pick a vibrant color. And then I just go with the airbrush with the full min size and the opacity at around, I don't know, 50% or something. And then I make a gradient. And the higher up, the darker. And the further down, the light. And don't bring the gradient the whole way down because that way uh, you will lose the little shine that lifts up the eye and make it look more alive. Then we just pick a second color that is slightly even more darker. And you do the same again. This is to give more contrast. I like to put down the opacity even more when I do this. Just for a little slightly higher contrast. And now we do the same for the purple eye. I click the X button so the other color ends behind. So I can with no problem color pick this color and keep coloring on this eye instead. So once again, a little darker shade. And then again, a little darker once more. Now to continue, you make a second layer over the other layer. You clip it again so it still be inside the lines. Click X so you go back to the blue side. You can zoom in because it can be a little tricky otherwise. Color pick from around the middle I would say because now we're going to make a dot. And this is going to be her um, pupil. I choose the pen for this. I'm trying to make the pupil in the middle and not too far down because otherwise it will take away from the light. It is going to shine through later. And don't worry that your character looks crazy for now. It, she will look normal later on. <laughs> it's kind of hard to make a perfect round circle, but try to make a more oval shape. Or I try to make a more oval shape because it suits the shape of my eyes. If you mess up though, you can just erase it a little bit. And I'll change by holding down central or control and change the position of the pupil. Okay, goody goody. Now, preserve the opacity and go a little darker. And pick the normal brush. This, this switch is just a normal brush. I just renamed it. And then do a little edge. Ta-da! Now we're just supposed to do the same with the other eye. And as these eyes are identical because she's straightforward, you can always cheat and just copy paste this eye. But it will be a little hard though because it's not the same color, but we can change that. So you select it, click Ctrl C, make a new layer, click the group, take away the selection and paste it, click Ctrl T, drag it, flip it, and put it where you want. Something like that. Make sure you clip it to the layer below. Preserve the opacity so you can color this thing. Click around the color in the middle. And now just change the color. And once again, take a slightly darker color and go around the edges. Oh, 
Okay, so now you just want to make sure that this color is more in line with everything else. So what I tend to do is to make another layer. This this can seem a little unnecessary, but I don't think so. Make another layer and do the airbrush again to take the color down a little bit and give that the U shape as a color to the eye, which I find really cute. Once again, take the shading that's in the middle and bring it down a little bit, like this. And now, do a little edge around the eye. This way, the eye will look a little bit more 3D and more painted. I really like this effect. It's really simple, but I think it adds a lot to the eye. Now, as a new step, I tend to go to an overlay layer, and I'll take, uh, you should take dark blue or dark purple when it comes to coloring blue eyes, but also purple eyes, and I make a gradient more intense. Blue. And then I turn down the opacity to something I find nice. I do the same for the purple eye once again. Blue purple. Dark blue. Oh gosh. <laughs> Don't forget to change the layer to overlay. And sometimes in purple I tend to add a little blue too to not make it so sharp. There we go. Why yellow works so well with purple is because purple and yellow are complementary colors and hence when you add yellow it looks really natural natural and nice as a highlight on top of the purple color. And now I actually forgot the very important step. <laughs> I usually don't forget this, but let's see. I take away the overlay for now. It can happen to everyone to forget some steps. You have seen it probably in many of my speedprints, but I forget several steps many times. <laughs> it happens, it happens. But I always tend to do take the darker color here and do a little half circle thing here. And that way, it will look cooler later. Like You'll see what I mean. I will do the same, same on the purple one. Okay, something like that. I think I made it a little too low down. So don't, forget, don't be afraid to... And redo things. You have to imagine a circle because that's what you're going to do later. And now bring back all the layers. And now we're going to do a multiply. I tend to go somewhere around purple, bluish. I go with the softest airbrush possible, highest opacity, and highest min size. To create a blurry transition. And that way because of the double edge there, you get a nice effect that I really enjoy. I mean we do the same here. And this purple looks way more intense. On this color, but not to worry, we just lower the opacity and change it to our liking. There we go. All nice and dandy. If you're unhappy with the color, you can go to filter and hue and saturation to change the values to something that places your eye a little bit more. There we go. After all this, I tend to merge all the layers down to the base layer of the eye color. 
We always start the merge with the layer closest to the base color, otherwise it can get messed up with the layer order. Now I tend to go either with the a normal brush and just drag out the lines to create an extra line for more dimension. The color pick, I have uh, the key to I to easy color pick and change the colors. So I'm going to do the same to purple. Okay. The next step I usually do is that I just take my brush tool or sush tool and do random dots with different kinds of color to give more variation and life to the eyes. That way I feel the eyes become more textured and more alert and cool and nice. I just like it this way. Same with the purple side. And my, like I said many times, the switch tool is just a normal brush, so you can copy the settings on your brush tool and it will be the same effect. Make some a little harder so they, the color become more prominent and some a little softer to give more background soft color. You can always switch back and forward between eyes. It's not correct order to do it. Now I just change color to something else, maybe pink? Why not? Pink is a great complementary color for blue, which makes the blue stand out even more. So pink is a great way, uh, a great color to add to blue. Have it on purple, it just looks like a paler, paler purple. It's not the best color to have, but this gives a little bit more variation. Lime green. My game also looks really nice on blue. Most things look nice on blue, but it's not a complementary color, but it it can make things look more colorful. However, it works much better on purple because of the yellow tones in it. And yellow and purple are complementary colors as well. And it's important to have well, it's not that important, but it's good to have um, a zoomed out picture on the side so you can see how the eyes look from far away always. And you just keep adding different colored dots until you think it looks good, basically. Light blue. Light blue here. And then I usually just take a normal, um, the pencil or something like that and pick light colors to put as highlights. It's important that they have some space in between them, otherwise from far away, they will look um, too cluttered together. And for the purple side, I tend to go with something light yellow. All the way down to white, make it stand out more. Then I tend to add different colors in between as well. So the extra work now when there's two different eye colors. But for example, lime green always works really nice with blue, like I told you guys before. So I have some random lines of lime green lines. Same with purple. Well, lime green doesn't look as nice with purple, so I'm just gonna keep it more modest with that. And pink is always lovely as well with blue. And some pink here, which just looks nicely. And then we add some random dots here to convey sparkles. And the same for the blue eye. 
and then we can take blue sparkles. The blue and the sparkles are pretty small for me, and that they all form some sort of pattern that is not um, too symmetrical. Otherwise, they look like a texture and not like sparkles. Green, green. And now I tend to add my highlights um, into it. I'm going to do it differently so we can do it on both at the same time. I like to do pretty big highlights. Simply because I feel like it makes the character look more alive and awake and happy. You can always try in many different highlights. There are many, many ways to do highlights. You can um, have smaller ones. You can have medium ones. It's like this. So go with the style that you think suits your style the best. I also tend to do a last overlay layer over both of the eyes. And light blue that always works well in the end, and some yellow, tint of yellow. You don't want it too saturated though. And you keep doing the shine until you're satisfied with it. To the layers and now we're just going to add some extra sparkles in the end. Alright, and some blue highlights always look wonderful with purple as well. And as a last step, or one of the few last steps, I go over to the line art layer and go to the eye layer. Get her. Increase the opacity. And I take the color that is on the highest on the top and make it a little darker, and then I airbrush the eye to something I like. Do the same on the other side. Then I always take some sort of pinkish and add it carefully, carefully in the middle for a little more 3D feeling. And also tend to add pink in the bottom for the sign of blush showing through. 
our sad blush always laid it to on top of everything. And to make it the illusion that things are transparent, I've picked the darkest color of the hair. And I go over with the brush, or a little darker perhaps. And color over the eyeliner. Art. To make it to make it look transparent even though it's not. Many people think I magically make it transparent in some way, but I don't. I just color over it like this. Then I do the same on the other side, a little darker. Lastly, I also do the eye white in the eye. I usually just uh, clip the way I lock the pastel of the layer, take some brownish, purplish color, and then do the shadow of the eye. Add some more dimension. And then I usually do the same on the next layer, but with the multiply with the same color to add a feeling of. The shadows actually mattering. I always turn them down a little bit, so it's barely noticeable. And yeah, then on top of everything, everything is done. I do one last thing. I'm going to show you. But the first, need to merge everything. Personally, I think the eyes are a little too saturated, so I turn down the opacity a tiny, tiny bit. Here go. Now it's time to merge everything. match and this is also for the point set of eyes but I then take an overlay with the whole picture overlay a little more purple feeling I always uh, add some orange glow everywhere where the skin is to make the skin look really radiant I tend to avoid the cheeks as much as possible simply because I enjoy uh, the really pinkish tone that gets from the purple. So not all the way down, almost. And for the top of the shield, add some blue. And then we can add some blue to the bottom of the hair even more. And the back of the wings. This blue always lovely. Some blue to the flowers. Some blue to the side there. And some blue to the eyes. And some pinkish tone again around the eyes. And you can have some yellow to give a softer feel to the to the wing. A little softer on this hair. And then we turn down the opacity when we feel like it's okay. Oh, Something like this. And then I always go with the luminosity here. And add. Sometimes I don't add the luminosity, sometimes I just take the brush. So I think, I think we can do that this time too. We can take the brush. Pick up the blending, down the persistence to our average persistence. Begin the color and put the color inside the eyelashes. I like the effect this, this gives. It's kind of my own way of doing things. And then I put sparkles or extra blushes. Little extra. 
make it look even happier. But yeah, that's basically how I do my eyes. I add maybe some extra blue sparkles. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and now you know how I do my eyes. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye!